TNT Laws and Show. It's a TNT Laws and Show. Gotta get it, let's go. It's a TNT Laws and Show. It's a TNT Laws and Show. Gotta get it, let's go. It's a TNT Laws and Show. Clothing store and oh, uh, yeah. kind of tell us about that, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, know. I I started out. I opened up a clothing store, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it I would go and get my clothes from Atlanta, Georgia, all out in Texas, brand new stuff, and then put it in my store. Mm -hmm. And I was still logging, mm -hmm. but the thing was. You can't find nobody dependable to work. Mm -hmm. They was taking my clothes out the store. The workers would wearing them on the weekend, put them in the cleaner, bring them back, put them in the store. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, so it was rough. Mm -hmm. And then one night they called me and told me somebody had broke in the store. And I had about three thousand some dollars. She done let said she left it in the cash register. Why would you leave three thousand dollars cash register and cash register all gone? But that didn't make sense. But you know, I kept on pushing. Yeah, and I moved it to from uh, down south. I moved it to Boulder. Yeah, I think it was Mount Island. Mount Island, yeah. I moved from Mount Island, Mount Island uh -huh, back to Boulder, Mississippi. And I did real good for because uh, I had a nice lady. Sure, but she developed cancer, and that's what shut that down. Right. Yeah, so I, I was a person. I always raised something that, that my check would come home. Right. I raised one one uh, time. I went in hog business. Mm. Yeah, I, I had a bunch of hog built me up a pen. Had a bunch of hog, and I had a hundred twenty-five pig bone in one week. I would pick them hogs up to about 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. And do you know they wouldn't give you something like $35, $40 for that hog? Ain't that something? A whole hog. Mm -hmm. And I was working down a place called Grand Gulf, but I sent them to the sale. But if I had have been there, I'd have brought them back. Right. I'd have brought them back. So I had about seven or eight left. So what I did with those seven hogs, I had my uncle and another guy. I told him, I said, look, y'all tell me what y'all charge to kill these hogs and split them down the middle. And I was killing those hogs and splitting them down the middle and getting $125 for each side. <laughs> yeah, if people buying a side, half of a hog for $125. Well, look at I gave away 14 heads. Mm. But you know, you got to use your head. Mm. But the, the guy that took him to the sale, he should have known 
that was too cheap to bring them back. Wow. And so after then, I would just I would kill over hog and 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 split them down the middle, and then I would sell them like that. And then I would raise the pig, and when they get up and start eating for themselves, I get twenty five dollars for each pig. So I was selling something like, I guess, two hundred or three hundred dollars a week just in pigs and stuff. That's what I was living off. Uh, stuff I had to do. My check was going to the bank. <laughs> also, I, you know, I'm still logging, <laughs> and I went and uh, bought me about eighty. I had eighty some head of cow. <laughs> I, I had bought. See, I'm doing all this by myself. Take this one. Yeah, I've done it all by myself. Check my cows on it. Sometimes you lose three or four, but don't worry about that. Keep on pushing. Right. Yeah, because right. people take your stuff, sit back and take your stuff just just cause they can. Right. Don't want nothing, they want what you got. Mm -hmm. And so I, I started selling kids off of my cows, brought me good money and everything. It was enough, they were the kids that took care of themselves. You know, mm -hmm. They bought the hay for themselves and all of that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I got I began to get sick mm -hmm. and it got to the place where I couldn't I couldn't keep them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, my kidneys and things fell on me. Right. And that's, it, that shut me down. Right. And I was in the hospital and then had nobody see them, see. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had to try to get home and sell what was left because they was taking them right. over there, cutting the fence, running the cows out, and, and you know. Go, you, and, 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 and before we get into uh, you talking about, you know, uh, your sickness, how you got sick, um, I want to talk about the pros and cons. Your, your honest thoughts on the pros, which, you know, the positives, uh, of being a logger and you know the cons of, of being a logger mm -hmm. from your own expertise because every logger uh he suffers with some kind of pros and cons of, of being a logger you know mm -hmm. but not only a logger but being an entrepreneur but to be a legendary logger you it's almost impossible mm -hmm. not that you no know, have no situations uh, with your time and all that, but I want you to talk about that. You know, uh, your forty years plus forty plus years of logging. Uh, give your expertise on that. Well, logging is a good job if uh, you got to want to do it. It's hard work. It's very hard work. And uh, I did it for about forty some years, and. People was coming in, they'd come in, start logging, buy all this equipment and stuff, and next month or two they gone. Wow. And uh, they would always tell me, once you get you a new this, a new that. But I said, well, I'm doing all right with what I got. And that, uh, one guy came up to me, he bought, he had bought new trucks, two new skills, and two new dozers, and he ain't stay in business three months. Hmm. He just, he, he couldn't do it. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't do it, but I was still there. When he left, I was still coming along. I was still coming along. I was one of the, uh, one of the first that went into uh, cutting long wood. Hmm. Cause the man that was, uh, was buying the short wood was making the money. So I started cutting long wood, take it to the mill, and get that mill man out of there. And so I was one of the first that saw that vision. And uh, they, we had a meeting over there at the International Paper Company, and the man stood up and told me, he said, TJ was one of the first saw this vision. He said, so now the vision he saw, look, that's the one we're going to, long wood. And so, uh, I started cutting long wood and I did it up until I couldn't. Yeah, I was cutting long wood and people talk about you. Yeah, they talk about it being bad, man. You, 
See, but I didn't care. Wow. I was 30 going on. 30 going forward. 30 going forward. And then show you how they hear. They sat back and watched me for a whole year. Mm -hmm. And I was still making it then, you know what I think? All of them got long trucks right. and started following me. You done, little working man. You putting the tube back up. Get mad.